If you don't respect the ocean, you could die. It really is a sickness. It's like ahi fever. Yeah, I've surfed for 47 years plus. I've been fishing now maybe going on three and a half years. Today our game plan is to go a little up the coast so that we can ride the trade winds down. And hopefully we'll get some strikes on the way down and we'll see what happens. I'll surf till the day I die, but you never know who's gonna be out at any spot at any given time. When you go fishing, you fish with whoever you choose to have on your boat, and that's it. I got a new appreciation and new respect for fishermen. You know, it's a bond that you all share and getting out there and catching fish and providing for your family and making it back home alive. It's a huge accomplishment, it really is. Yeah, it's a fucking eye right here. goes so much deeper than what most people think, you know, it's respect everything. We have our restaurant called Ahi Assassins, cut it up fresh, it's slayed, weighed and filleted right here, it doesn't get fresher than that, you know. The first Ahi of every year, you cut up and you give away for good luck. Food brings people together, you know what I mean? People bond over food, you know? And we went out and caught this, you know what I mean? We put this on the boat, look, look at that. So we want you to taste that, taste the hard work. The cornerstone of our culture is respect. We didn't believe in like possession, like the land wasn't ours, we coexisted with it. We respected it, we nurtured it, so it nurtured us.